So there is some uh, more complexity on the PCB PS on the right is the original PCB shit. It only has a handful of components and the new PCB is <laughs> full of them. It was actually pretty hard to get everything mounted on it and now when I look at it uh, I had to uh, drop out some uh, capacitors on the input filtering and if I will ever make a new version of this I might just drop out the current sensor because uh, uh, I don't know it it will just work with a uh, four power levels and if the battery will go flat you will just uh, push it again to get it to higher power stage and then it will save cost reduce complexity and I would be able to get the filtering capacitors on the board because it takes it is the U1 chip it takes uh, a good chunk of uh, space on the PCB but here I have one fully populated and but without the uh, edit tiny 85 uh, surface mount because it was the only part that would not uh, that had not been shipped to my door yet because it's in somewhere I guess in China everything else I got so now I'm testing it with these leads uh, actually on the complexity and the uh, missing space I had to solder two diodes uh, on top of each other because uh, they were 5 amp diodes but when I look at, looked at the data sheet the dropout voltage uh, raised substantially after about two and a half amps so I figured out if I put two on top of it at each other I will be getting a reduced voltage drop on the diodes and they fit on perfectly um, there is space for <laughs> literally about for five of them and it would still not be a problem but yeah I have tested it on this thing with the LED mounted on a big heatsink with long wires these are actually pretty shitty I'm pretty sure that when I mount it on the flashlight the perform performance will be uh, much better and the it would not get as hot because these wires are actually pretty shitty I just figured out it on the stress test that I did with this so I used it in the 1 amp mode so about 6 watts of power on the LED it ran for 8 hours and everything seems to be fine but these huts these huts these wires got pretty warm and same for these so I'm pretty sure that they have bigger voltage drop than I expected but on the flashlight I will be using a uh, two wires for the LED so it will have a smaller, smaller voltage drop on the wires and for these wires one will be this spring and I'm pretty sure that I will uh, solder wire from this back piece of the PCB to the tip of this spring to get a maximum contact on the battery uh, and the negative rail will be the lamp's body 
So here is a small test setup for these LED drivers that I have built. Uh, I have been programming it for the last two days and now uh, about half of the times it actually works perfectly. I have here a power supply with current limit because uh, that's the only way to prevent the MOSFETs from catching on fire. Because I still don't know why sometimes when booting the 80 tiny 85 uh, just pulls the digital pin too high and it really doesn't start because uh, uh, it's actually pretty complicated. Uh, there was times when on the code I had a problems with the EEP ROM not reading for the correct place. So I don't know if it uh, had written on some other number to the location, but it would not start. So the PWM was just a line. So I fixed it with a this kind of uh, line. So if the start PWM after this part is still zero so it would have not read any uh, lines of the code it writes zero to the address zero so next time it starts it would uh, read the zero and start the code over again and this would not write it unless it needs it because otherwise the start PWM would be any other number than a zero. So, and after the, sometimes it will short, and after the power up next time, it will always start with a zero. So at that point, it would have gone at least to this point, because it had uh, written zero to the location zero. So I really don't know why it's doing it, but. It still has a five modes. It has current limiting capability and it will rise the current when the battery gets dead, more dead. Uh, so it will try to maintain the same power level that you have set it. It also now has a um, temperature protection. There is a small little uh, and DC thermistor on the corner by the diode MOSFET and the inductor so it will see the uh, temperature raise but it has some small quirks uh, and if the voltage drops to below 3 volts the temperature limit will not work and yeah that's a problem so let's turn it on now it's on the about 100 milliamp mode Two hundred and fifty milliamp mode, five hundred milliamp mode, one amp mode, two amp mode, and because now the, temper uh, the voltage is below three volts, the temperature limit <laughs> will not work, and I really don't know why. There is something funky going on with this boost con boost ba back converter because. It doesn't give out the real voltage that it's set to, so <laughs> yeah. And now it's on short, yeah. You can see 6 amps. And now when I power it up, it will start on 100 milliamp mode. You can see that. Uh, the last position that it should have been was 100 milliamp mode. So this would be, uh, or should be, 250 milliamp mode. I don't know why it's doing that. Now, actually, <laughs> it it was in 250 milliamp mode, because now it's in 500 milliamp mode. Yeah, there is something funky going on. Uh, 
and again short. Uh, this flashlight driver uh, needs to be used with a uh, protected lithium battery. And now the temperature limit vo works. It's uh, 3.69 volts and the current has gone to 1.1 amps. And again short. And now you could see the current going to 1.1 amps. And again short, I don't know why. Yeah, there is some small problems with this design, but um, I have to uh, make some changes to the code, I'm pretty sure. And there is also a problem that uh, everything else has arrived. So here is my soy clip for programming the edit tiny. Also these uh, booster modules that I bought from eBay arrived on time because uh, these and the AD tinies were the only parts that LCSC didn't have on stock. So I am now using my AD tiny 85, uh, this bigger version, so not the surface mount version because I don't have it. And I just soldered a little tiny wires on the board so I can. Uh, program it and when I get to edit I need on the server packets I will be just programming it and putting it on the board and there you go